Good morning everyone, so I haven't vlogged in a whole week and honestly it felt so good, it felt so good just to have a break and just not think about like videoing or film, you know, filming anything really. Um, <coughs> I've still got a bit of a cold, I'm kind of getting over it, I feel absolutely fine, I've just got like this horrible cough with like a bit of a yucky throat at the moment, but I'm fine, I'm absolutely fine. Today's obviously Brit Mums the start and um, I've been up since six, I had a shower, it's now quarter to seven, I've already um, had a shower and I've sorted out the kids breakfast, I'm literally having my own breakfast which looks delicious. But yeah, I'm super excited for today, I'm going to meet lots of new people and slightly overwhelmed, like it's going to be, um, I'm kind of nervous because it's just, there's a lot of people, it's a lot of people and I just get a and I'm not I'm not scared of anything, but you just kind of think, oh my god, like you're gonna have to speak to so many people, um, which is nice. But you know, a lot of the time you do hide behind the camera and you do hide behind your blog or vlogging channel or whatever. But now you actually have to speak to these people, um, which is going to be interesting. It's going to be nice. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a good day. The weather looks really good. I've got two dresses to wear for today and tomorrow. Um, I'm hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm going to be able to check into my hotel earlier. Um, I did request like weeks and weeks ago to check in because um, you're supposed to check in at two or that's sort of your time that you can check in at two, which is quite normal for hotels. Um, but I asked to check in between one and two, so I'm hoping it's not that earlier, like much earlier, so I'm hoping they're going to let me. My train gets into London Waterloo at 20 past 12, so that by the time I do the tubes, which actually... tubes to get on hopefully I can understand that I really am no good with trains but I am meeting um, a lot of other mums on the way like we're getting the train together and I'm meeting a couple at train station so yeah it should be fine because we all should know I'm, I'm sure they probably know where they're going as well but it's good to have backup just in case you never know we all get lost or whatever um, but yeah, I'm so excited for today. I'm really excited. It feels like I've been waiting for ages. Like I bought my ticket, I think, last July or August, which seems ridiculous. I've been waiting a whole year for this, but um, it should be good fun. I'm going to have my breakfast, and then I'm just going to potter about and get some stuff done, because obviously um, Graham's looking after the kids for the next two days, so I need to do school run still, like normal. Okay, it's five to seven. Nice tidy and clean kitchen which is what I love to see um now look at this what what is it oh did you do yeah I got three of them oh my goodness oh my god look at how this has been look at this oh my god oh my god it's utter chaos put all of this Lego in here well can I can I push it now can I can I put yeah. some back in because it is just crazy you need to help me okay yeah, so now I have to tackle the kids' rooms. And what I, this is what I do every morning. And sometimes I do think to myself, why do I bother? Because I literally repeat myself every single morning. But I obviously make beds and basically just put all their toys back. Um, they're not going to be here all day, obviously, because they're at school and nursery. And I do think it's kind of pointless because they will just get them out again. But for my, you could say, I suppose, OCD self, I kind of feel like I need to do it because, like, right now, like, you thought I was just Lego, look at Violet's toys, like, everything is just everywhere. Her room's not too bad, actually. I did kind of um, open the curtains and partially go through it already, as always. But, um, yeah, so that's basically what I'm going to do make beds and just go through the house room by room, what I usually do every morning, and just um, sort everything out <laughs> and then sort myself out and get, well, actually, I'll probably sort the kids out first, get them dressed and everything get their clothes ready and then sort myself out <laughs> okay all rooms are complete I love it when it's all done that's just my stuff for today I'm still sorting stuff out trying to pack um I was just done amazing <laughs> we were in the box we doing in the box he's done amazing packing his lego I mean how good is that I just made his bed and um yeah not bad good job I made a little bit of a bed so I, I packed it, yeah, but then then I got out of it. Okay. That's alright. You're doing really well, though. Well done. And I've literally just got the kids' clothes out for 
school and nursery and Viley. Hi Viley. You have got nursery, babe. She's actually in a bit of a grumpy mood. She's woke up on the wrong side of the bed. She's been really snappy with Alistair. <laughs> like, don't touch me, don't touch me, the breakfast bar. Um, yeah. Girls, us mood swings, hey? We just have so many of them all the time. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna be wearing, you've seen these dresses before. This is my newest one. I absolutely love it, it's so beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm gonna wear this. I might wear that tomorrow. Because I'm, I'm travelling up in like comfies basically. I did a blog post on these clothes actually. Um, just a white top with my next tapered trousers. Because they're just so comfortable. And I'll probably put, just put a pair of flip flops on or something. <coughs> but yeah, I think I'm going to wear that tomorrow. And to wear this one today, which is my Gap one. Which I've had for about a year I think. I wore it to Alice's birthday last year. But I just love the style. It's just so nice and comfortable and I could just wear this all day and because it's like full on cotton it's kind of warm as well if that makes sense anyway I'm gonna get myself ready do something with this hair and um start packing a little bit more um I, I barely packed to be honest um I'd say I barely packed to be honest like how much do you really need it's not focusing how much do you really need for one night it's not I've just got a couple of dresses to put in this is like my clothing and my toiletries Chargers are the most important. Um, this is the bag I'm taking. This is my Zara City Mini. I barely ever use this, and I think it's because it's just I don't know, it's too big for every day because it's just it holds a lot, you know, it could fit a lot of stuff in. But generally, it's not the most comfiest bag to wear, if that makes sense. I can't sort of I don't know, I can throw it on a space, but I've got so much stuff in here. I've got like a notebook and my cards. I'll show you my um my little cards you can hand out cute and that so I've got those down at Vista Print if you're wondering um, <clears throat> ear earplugs, earphones I've got a couple of snacks one of the protein bombs and I've got some chewing gum this is like my favourite old school chewing gum I'm not a chewing gum person but this is like the old school stuff ok I've just done school nursery run I can't stop sneezing I feel really congested and I like, I've never had hay fever, but I always like get to this time of year. Definitely wonder if I've got some sort of little allergy or reaction to like pollen or whatever, because we have a lot of cut grass around us as well. Um, but yeah, I'm just feeling a bit like oh, just it's just horrible. It's just horrible. Um, but I'm going to take a few things with me. I'm going to take these now. These are like Lem Lemsip cold and flu tablets. I'm going to take just two of those now. And um, I've got these like lemon sip, um, you know, you can swallow them. They've got paracetamol in them and they taste like lemon sip, but you can also dissolve them in water. I thought maybe um, while I'm at the hotel in the evening when I get back, it might be good to take one of those either tonight or in the morning. Um, but also I thought I'd take a paracetamol and a caffeine with me. The, again, dissolvable. Um, or if anybody else wants them you never know people feel different all throughout the day and this um the conference the actual workshops and everything it doesn't actually finish like tonight it won't finish till about half eight so it's a long day especially with traveling and then tomorrow it starts bright and early we get um breakfast and stuff early again it goes on till about probably five or six i can't remember i think it might be six no, it might be five because my train leaves at half six. It must be five or half five. But again, it's a long day, so I think it would be good to have something. Alistair's alarm's going off. <laughs> he must have set his alarm. <coughs> Noisy thing. How do we turn you off? Mm, oh yeah, off. <laughs> I have cut my hair and we are on our way. Graham's just going to turn off the chicken feed. He's gone that way, somewhere. But, um,. Yeah, we're on our way. It's like 25 to 10. I think I'm so ready. My, my train comes at 10.22. I like to be early though, even though it does at least, it's gonna take us at least 25 minutes to get there, I reckon, depending on traffic. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I curl my hair, should I say that? I curl my hair. Um, my skin's really not great at the moment though, which is frustrating. But I think it's because I'm just a bit run down. It's coming out in my skin. Um, but look at my bag, it's like, jam packed in there so 
Yeah, I've got everything I need, I think, hopefully. There's like two, basically like two buildings for this all. And all the other girls, oh, you can't actually see them. All the other girls are in the other the other place. So I'm I'm actually in this side of the hotel. It's not it's not too far away or anything, but yeah. This is so tiny, I cannot believe how tiny this room is. It's quite cute though. Got a telly and look how small it is in here. It's very it's quite nice though. And then literally the door's there, at least I've got a full length mirror, that's always nice. And then, let's have a look at the bathroom, <laughs> pretty basic bathroom. So, yeah, not bad for £70, I got mine pretty cheap, this room, because I booked it such a long time ago. That's probably, maybe why I'm in a different building, but never mind. So I'm meeting the girls back at half past one. It's only five past one now. And um, the train journey was like really fine, really easy going. I'm actually gonna freshen up because I, I feel a bit smelly actually. Um, it's really hot in the taxi all the way here. Um, yeah, so then we're gonna head to Brit Mum's, the actual brewery, which is just down the road. And that starts at two o'clock. So plenty of time to freshen up, but I'm really hungry because we haven't had any lunch. So I've got a couple of snacks with me. So I think I might have that. And then um, sort myself out and head on back down over in about 25 minutes. I think I'm ready to go. Hopefully the lighting might be better this way actually. Yeah, I've got my dress on which you've seen before. My Jack Wills dress, I really like it actually. I'm glad I brought a cardigan because God it is a bit chilly up there and I've got my these sandals on which I had from last year. I think they're from Sainsbury's and they've lasted actually and I really, really like them actually. And they're really uber comfortable, I just wish I would have bought more than one pair, but never mind. So yeah, I think I'm headed to meet the girls now down in reception as it's half past one. Had a good conference day. The sky's still beautiful and blue, isn't it, Amy? It is. It's lovely. It's lovely. I'm hungry. It's lovely. We haven't eaten all day. We basically just oh, survived yeah. on wine and canopies, literally. So we're heading to Pizza Express. Apparently, let's just hope we actually um, get a table because <laughs> we don't know. We're walking for like ten minutes, if not more. Yeah. I'm hungry. Your beautiful smile. Hi everyone, 
so it's been such a long day <clears throat> it's like 5 to 11 I just had a wash and I'm so exhausted oh my god it's been such a good day but really tiring and tomorrow is going to be kind of like an even longer day if it, I think it's going to be anyway by the time I get back home anyway um lots of workshops to do and yeah, um, having breakfast really early. Um, I said I meet the girls at quarter past eight to go to the brewery because they're doing like a, like a mini breakfast, I suppose. Um, so I'm going to check out that early as well and take my stuff with me because we have to check out at 12 and basically tomorrow it goes on all day till about five. So yeah, really good day. I'm exhausted. We've done so much walking. Um, but I'm going to give Graham a quick call. I don't know if he's going to be awake though, but I really want to speak to him. He texted me 16 minutes ago, so I'm guessing he's still up. So I'm going to give him a call and then I'm going to head to sleep and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning everyone. So I have actually been awake since 6. Um, although, I'm trying to look for the remote so I can turn down the telly. I've got the shower going. I'm just about to hop in the shower and yeah I need to pack it's funny I've been awake since 6 I actually woke up at 3 because it's so hot in here it felt like a sauna and with my like stuffy cold at the moment I just felt like I couldn't breathe and I've got like the most popular window I was like I need to open a window and that's literally all I could do which basically made no difference really so I've been so hot and stuffy all night but yeah I've been awake since 6 it's now 20 to 8 <laughs> And I'm not even ready and we're supposed to, I'm supposed to meet the girls at quarter past eight so I'm kind of like rushing now. I've been too busy editing and just watching telly and, and just trust me to do things last minute. But I'm going to get in the shower now anyway. I've just made myself a cup of tea and then meet the girls and we're going to head for breakfast at the brewery. So oh, I am hungry so I'm looking forward to that and I'm looking for, forward to a nice coffee, a proper coffee. They do like lattes and cappuccinos and stuff so... Yeah, I'm just going to drink the tea, get myself ready and pack again. I was going to wear my dress, um, but the weather looks like it's going to literally rain um, all day, like practically all day. So I'm glad I brought a second option. I thought I'd bring something else just in case. So I think I'm just going to wear my little jeans, um, my sandals. I've got like a suit jacket, this little navy one. Um here and I'll just a white top with a necklace so I think I'm gonna wear that I'm gonna wear my hair up so um oh yeah and that's my underwear lovely um yeah so I think I'm gonna wear that and then pack okay I'm ready to go I'll show you what I'm wearing I'm glad I bought a second option but oh, I kind of feel not the most comfiest but yeah and I've got these little Primark sandals on which are really comfy actually they're only four pounds um, so yeah, this is my outfit for today. I put my hair up just for ease really and for like traveling and oh, I'm just really hot and stuffy in here. I just need to get out of this room. So I'm going to go meet the girls, check out and um, yeah, I'll see you in a bit.
Hi everyone, so I have been picked up by Graham and I'm just so shattered. I just, I'm just not a traveller. I just feel so exhausted just travelling. But um, yeah, we've come back from London obviously on the train. It was really straightforward. It took like an hour and 50 minutes or something really quite quick actually. Um, I've had such an amazing time at Brit Mom's Live. Oh my God, I really want to go back next year. And... It is so lovely to meet Amy, fun being mum. I will link, I'll try and link these people actually, a lot of them down in the description bar because a lot of them vlog and like most of them vlog anyway. Um, but oh, such an amazing experience and I just feel utterly shattered though. I'm waiting for Graham to, he's literally just pulled up at Domino's um, because we um, made a little Domino's pizza order. That was kind of our plan. Yeah, I really fancy a Domino's pizza so that was our plan for... This evening is get a Domino's pizza and go in the pool. <laughs> so this is Miley Graham's feast for tonight. Domino's pizza, I have no clue what are in these. What are these extra things, Gray? Special beaver as well, that's nice. <laughs> Busy as our beaver. Um, yeah, so this is our pizza, oh my God, with extras. <laughs> have we got my, oh, you just got barbecue dip. You only got one know, garlic got, herb. Garlic can happen, isn't it? We're headed home for pizza and pool time. What do, what temperature is the pool? Uh, last I saw it was 30 degrees C. <gasps> so cozy, cozy, toasty, hot, steaming pool. This is what I'm looking forward to tonight anyway. Got a new rose. Look. And then it's going to turn. Oh my god, I've got another one. Within one day. Beautiful. Food. Garlic bread. I know what you're going to say. What are they called? Oh, Wedges. <laughs> Chicken strippers. Oh, <gasps> that's my pepperoni. That's where the wine's gone. That's the wine's gone in there. Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm sorry if I look rough. I'm still uber super tired although um, after pizza last night I ended up um, going straight to bed I was just so tired I was like Graham I can't stay up I need to go to bed I'm just too tired I couldn't be bothered to watch anything on telly and I felt absolutely tired and stuffed as well after pizza I only had like three slices and I was done <laughs> um, yeah so I'm sorry if I look really rough but yeah, we ended up going to bed early anyway because obviously Graham, um, looking after the kids anyway, he was just really tired. And this morning he hasn't even been here anyway. He's been, um, well, he has been here, but he got up at like half five to go milking. So yeah, I think he's probably really tired anyway. But yeah, today is going to be a bit of a busy one because I need to edit this video. It should. I really want to get it up today but I don't know if I will. I'm sorry if it comes out tomorrow or it might come out tonight by the time it's edited and published. Um, but you know, at least I've done something I suppose. And I'm not sure how long it's going to be. I felt like I was such in the moment of Brit Mums meeting lots of people and going to the different workshops and eating and drinking wine. <laughs> um, I just felt totally like I don't know, in the moment, I just completely forgot to get my video out half the time, like my camera out. So I don't know how long this video is going to be. But it was really, really good. And I'm definitely going to um, go go next year, I think, and try and get the early bird ticket. There's an early bird ticket that comes out around July, August, and that means that it's um, quite discounted. It's about 65 or £67, pounds, something like that. Um, and if you don't get that ticket, you end up having to pay the like the premium price, which is £95, which is a lot more expensive. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to do that in August, or when it comes out. Um, yeah, so today we have got a barbecue thing to go to because it's Graham's... Um, cricket ground the, the the team he plays for it's their 40th anniversary today and obviously it's father's day um so 
we well I've actually been asked to make a cake because obviously when you're at cricket you have like a cricket tea and I help anyway throughout the throughout the summer throughout you know the games and stuff like home games but they've asked me to make a cake because they're going to do basically a massive cricket tea because they're going to celebrate it and they're going to have a barbecue we've actually provided our barbecue um there is a couple of others as well that have provided their barbecues because there's going to be a lot of people there so we've provided our barbecue and we've provided all the meat as well so all the burgers and sausages and stuff so that's good at least we know we're going to get some like decent burgers i absolutely love our burgers so that's good but they've asked me to bake a cake so they've asked me to bake the coffee cake as well the one that's it's not exactly hard but it's still a bit more complicated than just like your average victoria sponge so um yeah i need to bake today which i just i honestly can't be bothered i just feel like no but i'm going to anyway um it'll be fine once it's all maybe i'll get the kids to help me do it actually it might make it a bit more easier on myself <laughs> um and we're not actually going there it's kind of an afternoon evening barbecue thing I hope it's not going to rain or anything. It looks quite gloomy out there. But, um, yeah, it's like an afternoon thing. We don't have to be there till about four. So there's plenty of time anyway. The kids will be home in a minute, hopefully. Which would be nice. They're obviously with mother-in-law. I'm feeling a little bit lonely. Because I haven't seen them since, like, Friday morning. It's been, like, such a long time. Um, feels like forever ago that I saw them. Apparently they've been really good. Which I can imagine. They've been helping Graham on the farm do little bits. And I'm actually going to... I've got so many freebies. I've got, like, a ridiculous amount of freebies. When you go to, like, uh, conferences and this sort of thing, when you pay to go somewhere, you always get, like, a goodie bag, but you also get loads of freebies from the brands. There's lo loads of stalls around, and they hand out stuff. Um, you just talk to them and sign up with them and stuff like that. So I've got so many freebies, so I think I'm going to lay them out on the bed and show you what I've got, because I don't want to do a separate video. So, yeah, I think I'm going to do that and see what i got. Okay, so this is my selection of freebies, so I'll just show you what i got quickly. So, um, Santa Maria was here, I think that used to be called Discovery. Um, they've changed their name, but they obviously still look the same. Um, so yeah, we've got some tortillas, and basically just to make a whole big heat, the heater kit. And they're doing the yellow chilies, which are the really, really mild ones. They're really nice. A bit vinegary, but really nice. Got some mud packs there. You were with Carnival. She threw in those of those. And then we've got some pen and a little USB stick. And then over here, Mercia Marmon is like personalised like um, metal gifts. And they did personalised Brit Mums Live 2015 bracelet for everybody. And then you had to like take a picture and tweet it to like win something. So yeah, that's pretty cute. And then Paragon were doing um, their little biscuits and then obviously their books. So they, they basically gave you two of the same book. So you could give one to a friend. So I chose that one for Vi because I thought it was really cute. It's like a carry one and I think she'd like it. And look how cute the pictures are. Um, they had such choice um, wishy-washy tape they were just giving that away for free and then these were actually display stuff and they were like yeah just take them and these are just little succulent air plants so I've got four of those randomly I might just I don't know what I'm going to do with them some Lenore samples and then over here real times was actually really I'd actually recommend this it's like an app for Android and um, iOS um, it's, it's kind of like an iMovie for the phone but it's so much better and yeah so i would definitely check them out it was such a good um sort of video it basically videos whatever video and pictures you met you do through in the day or whatever you can it puts them together for you and you can put music on it and you can upload it and it's just yeah it's basically like a better iMovie on the phone um i've got pen here and then i got a munchkin munchkin with there so they gave me a 360 cup i'm not sure violet is past this i think she is past this actually but never mind, she might still like it anyway, you never know. Um, they gave me a bottle, I think I'll probably just give that to my sister, because I don't need that. They gave me a shade, which is cool, because we're always needing shades for the car. I haven't got one, so I'll use that on Violet's side probably. And then they gave me like the bag that came in, and then we got Lyndon's wine was there. So that was in my giddy bag, so I got a red wine. Really nice actually, Shiraz. And then they gave me this like cup, Munchkin cup. And then we've got a Guinness World Record um, sort of 
medal thingy because we wrapped the most mummies apparently so we're going to be in the world record thingy Jules gave us a body lotion which I was well disappointed really I mean it's nice obviously to have Jules body lotion I haven't tried any of their sort of products they are quite expensive though um but I was hoping for like I don't know a bracelet or something or some earrings you know just something from their jewelry line but anyway yeah so we got that from Jules we got some popcorn and some of this um barbecue and grill sort of seasoning which looks really nice some soap um crayons milkshake magazine that um violet's gonna love that isn't she bowl two in one great for washing um some kids once sun cream tech tea bag super treats chocolate fat quarter um of fabric i had like a crafty stool thing um and that's pretty much everything i've got loads of leaflets and stuff but that is basically my freebie haul. Okay, I've got my cakes in the oven. It's left on them, so I'm doing the coffee cake. Coffee and walnut. It's like 5 to 11. I really need to crack on and do something. <laughs> the kids came home. I have given Violet a bath because I think where she's been in at the pool. Oh, what's wrong? What's wrong? Yeah, Violet's had a hair wash, haven't you? Because your hair was yucky. So, Graham came in and he's gone back out again to work. Came in for like five minutes. He didn't even have breakfast. I haven't had breakfast either because I think when we had pizza so late, we just feel like, I still feel full up, like like I've got pizza up to here. So I think I'm just gonna get in the shower and sort myself out because it's like 11 o'clock and we need to go soon. Um, obviously I need to sort this cake out I just need to get on top of stuff the house is a mess so I really need to hoover badly but I'm kind of debating just waiting I think I might just wait till tomorrow to be honest because the kids are a bit school nursery and then I can just do chore day like I'm a normal Monday really so yeah it's just tidying myself up really just having lunch outside it's really really sunny boys are inside actually Alistair's watching Simpsons on the sofa having his lunch we just got sandwiches. Riley's topless for some reason. You need to get your change in a minute. Why? Because we're going up the cricket ground. To have a barbecue in a couple of hours. Yeah, because we didn't have that yet. No. We've just got this cool cup from um, Munchkin. Pink and white. You like it, don't you? The way you drink it. It's clever. You kind of have to suck it. Is, it. is it good? It comes out. Good. And my um, things that I planted last week. Mm. All doing really well actually. There's a couple me? that are with starting me? to sprout. With, with you, yes. We did it together, didn't we? Mm. Um, no, I just can't remember what's what though. This is my problem. I think these are sunflowers. These are just flowers. This hasn't gone anywhere, but I think it's because the chicken decided to scratch around on it. So I'm not sure if they're ever going to grow. I think that's flowers and these are um, tomatoes, I think. No. I think, I think. I never know. I know what that is, a, um, a, a sunflower. Uh, yeah, I think that is a sunflower, that one. Yeah, no, that one is. we got our fence panels up, thanks to Graham, painting them. Just putting these up, finally. They're growing well, though. I mean, they were only literally, only tiny, so they have grown quite well. Ooh, I need to get some more, like um, a couple more so we could have more up. And if you put one, what do you think? A nice hot pool. Oh, wow. hmm, that was so easy. <gasps> Yeah, I'm gonna get some more. I'm gonna get one to go there and one, maybe two more. Oh, very cute. Mm -hmm. What is it? 32. 32? <laughs> I said it's not hot enough. <laughs> it's not hot enough for me. I love a hot, hot wow. pool. Is it lovely? I don't want to get your trousers dirty, but... It doesn't matter, because she needs changing anyway. Because she's... I uh, made the cake here. So that's all done. Graham's actually going to take that to cricket now, I think. Um, 
because he, once again, has got to go milking and I've done three loads of washing today as well. Right, I just need to round the kids up. I have got myself changed into like a dress because it's warming up. Surprisingly how, oh, I've got loads of flies around. Surprising how, like this morning it was really grey and dull. Um, <clears throat> and now, today it's just beautiful. And now this afternoon it's just beautiful, should I say. So, go kitties. Let's bye. Violet, you come put your dress on. Well, I'm not getting dressed for. Yeah, you're getting dressed as well. Yes, I'm going to get the clothes out. Um, he doesn't really like changing clothes, but he has been playing out on them all day, so I think it would be nice for him to just put some clean shorts and t-shirt on at least. Nothing fancy. Cute little top from Next. Little, he's a H&M, yeah. Comfortable, but cute as well. And then for Vi, I've laid her out a pretty dress from Next. Um, she hasn't worn this yet, so so nice. Since I saw this, I just thought, oh, I'd love, I'd actually wear that myself, I think. It's like a hot balloon on the back, air balloon. And yeah, just a little H&M shoes, little bow boutique, but I think it kind of goes quite nicely. It's like in between sort of blue with the cardi. Okay, beautiful Violet is ready. Not you me. look lovely. Not me. Alistair, it's, oh. here you are, you're ready, basically. Yeah. <laughs> He's not pretty. He is pretty. Well, not okay. He's not pretty. He's um handsome, aren't you? Where's Alistair? He's handsome. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I've got my new bottle. Your new cup to take. It's a take your own drink. So I've just made a pins for me and my friend to take. Oh, it looks so good. Right, heading out. I was moaning at Graham saying, "Where are you? We need to go." And there's me, the last one out the door, as always. So yeah, we're heading out to the barbecue now. It looks amazing the weather. So we're gonna enjoy ourselves. I like this song. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm gonna be you singing it. I like this song. Do you want me to? Do you like it, Alistair? Stop rubbing your nose. It's gonna get sore. Sora. Sore. Good grandma. I <laughs> Tell you something. Okay, we are back from the barbecue. The kids are in bed. They've been in bed for not very long we do get back about nine so yeah um it's pretty late to be honest wow it seems really light though and they've gone straight to sleep which is really good they were exhausted um it's still really light though but graham's just randomly decided to get in the pool so i'm like yeah let's get in the pool why not because it's boiling so we're gonna jump in the pool and i'm gonna try not to get my hair wet though yeah. how is it oh, is it Oh, rain clouds are coming in, huh? I'm surprised it's not steaming, it feels so hot. Isn't it? Really? Oh my god, this is amazing! It's like a bath! <laughs> it's never too late for a, a dip in the pool when it feels like a bath. It's going to be freezing then when we get out because you can feel the wind, can't we? <laughs> <sighs> Hello, are you filming? Sorry, turn it off. Just turn it off, babe, it's fine. How do you turn it off? I don't really want the penis on it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no. 